Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here then my name is Nicola and I blog over at The Frugal Cottage all about money saving, um, budgeting, investing, making money um, and some other little bits in between. And if you're not new here then welcome back and thanks for joining me again. Um, so it's time for another envelope stuffing. Um, I didn't do this last week, I don't know why. I think because, I don't really know why, October started on, was it Tuesday? Um, so I just ended up using my card this past week, which I don't do very often. Um, and I much prefer the cash envelope uh, system for managing my money. So I'm back today with a new one. Um, so let's go. So again, this is my little uh, little binder. I'll link this below. Um, it's just from Amazon. It's, it's quite cheap. As are the, em the, the little plastic envelopes inside. Let me just get those out of there. And these envelopes are the size of um, purse I have, these actually slot in there, so I, t I only take with me the ones that I need, I don't actually take the binder with me, I, don't, I think I've taken it once and that's it, and I felt a bit uncomfortable taking all of my cash envelopes when I knew I wasn't going to need them, so I normally just take out the ones that I need. Anyway, so, um, so we'll start off with food. Um, so this is the leftovers from September, because um, like I said I didn't use these in the last week. Um, so there's still £10 in there, which looks good, but it wasn't because I went over budget in September, so. Um, so we'll leave that in there, and I'm trying to think what we're buying this week, I don't know, hmm, what shall I do? I'll put in 70 in there, so I'll add 70 to that, and then, um, 10, and then that give, that takes me up to eighty pounds, doesn't it, for the week? Because we need to, we've kind of run out of. I've been using some stockpile things, and we've run out of a couple of things that I want to buy. And so, like, I try and buy like things in large quantities that I know we'll use. So things like um, rice and pasta, for example, I try and buy in quite big, quite big portions because I've got space to store those. I mean, it, do, it does. If you've got space to store things, bulk buying does make it cheaper. Um, so I put that into my so I've got seventy pound there added to the ten, and um, there's like about fifty p in change there I think, and we want to put that in there, and I'll go food shopping later today actually so that won't that won't be in there that long. But I'll put that in there anyway, and then close that up. So that's now in there for food. So I've got eighty pound about eighty pound and about fifty pence I think is in there. <clears throat> Excuse me, so so yeah, so that's my food budget for this week. So I'll leave that there. Petrol, um I seem to be going through more petrol than I used to. I don't know if it's I kinda of do more backwards and forwards like little journeys now than I used to. And that really does show on when you kind of use new petrol up. I think it goes much faster doing it that way than when I do kind of long journeys to work and back. Um so I'm gonna put forty pound in for petrol because I am almost on the red again as it seems to be every week from now on. <laughs> Uh, not from now on, you know, from every week since I do this, I've said, oh, I'm on the red again, um, and that seems to be the case. So I'm going to put £40 in there for petrol, and I will use all of that. Also, petrol prices are creeping up again, so that obviously makes a big difference over time. So that's £40 for petrol, um, and I'll, I will use that. I'll use the £40 there. Now, miscellaneous might need more than normal. Um, I need things like, I know this, I need things like... Um, we need washing liquid for the washing machine and we need toothpaste, toilet rolls, you know, like, um, and new toothbrushes I think we need as well. Like, it's one of those weeks where I'm going to end up spending quite a lot in the miscellaneous category. Oh, and also, um, new light bulbs. I hate buying light bulbs. I never know which ones they are. I never know which ones to get. I hate it. But we do need some. We've got two lights uh, that need replacing on the landing, so I definitely need to buy light bulbs today. So actually, there's about, I don't know how much is there. About £1.40 in change, obviously that's not going to get me very far, but I'm going to put £30 in the miscellaneous one today. Um, because light bulbs are expensive, washing liquid for the machine, washing machine, we seem to go through that a lot as well now. Um, it's fairly expensive, I'm, I have tried like cheaper brands, but we've, um, me and both of the boys have quite sensitive skin, and so I need to be really careful which one I buy. Um, so I do, we do get the fairy liquid washing which one you know and it is expensive and I do try and buy it when it's on offer because it, you know, it is on offer quite often but you never know <laughs> so I have tried cheap, cheaper versions of that um, but it hasn't worked it hasn't kind of suited us unfortunately because <laughs> I'm not one for buying brands I'm really not 
Um, so I've got £30 in the miscellaneous envelope. I think I've spent quite near that this week. Um, just happens like some weeks I don't really spend a lot in the miscellaneous category and then other times everything kind of hits at once, do you know what I mean? Like it's, you know, if you stagger it out it'd be better, but it does, life doesn't seem to work that way and everything seems to run out or need replacing at the same time. So I've got 30, about £31.50 in there-ish, if we can change. And then, <coughs> excuse me, so I feel a bit weird. Uh, if I sound a bit weird, I've got a bit of a sore throat this morning. Um, the children's envelope still has twenty pounds in twenty pound and so it's 70, 80, 85 pence. I don't know if you can see the label there. Um, the children's one. So I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to add any more to that. I think um, my plan for this next week is I want to take um, my youngest. He's one. I want to take him swimming on Tuesday. I think. Um, I took him last week for the first time. I was brave because I'll be totally honest the changing rooms and getting changed and having a, like a um, a grumpy, cold, tired child to get changed afterwards is not my day of fun but he absolutely loved it and actually getting changed and all that wasn't too bad. Um, it wasn't as bad as I'd made out in my head that it would be and so I'm glad I braved that so I'm going to try and take him maybe not once a week but you know f more often because he really did enjoy it and the only reason why we came out when we came out is because it was lunchtime. Um, and he just spent a lot more time there. Also, I got really cold, but he wasn't bothered, so hey. But anyway, so I think I'm going to leave that as £20. But I'm going to take him swimming next week, but that doesn't cost anywhere near that. Um, and I don't know if we've got anything else that they need cash for. I don't think so. Not that I can think of anyway. Um, yeah. We'll leave that as that. And then I've got £10 left. If you can see. £10 left. Um, and I'm actually, I've got eating out and clothes in my two envelopes that I've got left. Clothes has 1p in it, can you see that there? I don't know where that's come from. Um, and I'm clearly, I'm going to take that out there, that's, what, 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 what use would that be as a, as a penny in, in there? I don't know where that's come from, so I'll take that out there. I'm going to leave that blank actually, I don't think we need any clothes this week. I think that's what I'm going to leave blank. And then I'm going to put £10 in eating out. She needs a bit indulgent seeing as remember I did no spend September and eating out didn't have anything in it. Now if you watch my October budget video which I'll link below you'll know that I've put in a budget for eating out this month. Um, so I'll put £10 in there, we'll see. That may go on a, a coffee at some point, I've missed my coffees and I know like if you read the personal finance stuff like they say oh you need to cut out all the takeaway coffees and stuff. Um, and I agree if you get them every day. I do agree with that if you get them all the time. But as a little treat, I, I do like my takeaway coffee. So I think um, I think that might go towards that, at least a bit of it. And we've got a takeaway, um, not a takeaway, we've got a, like a drive through Costa near us as well, which is really dangerous when you're, because I can drive past it on my way home. Um, and that's really tempting sometimes. So I think I might treat myself to one of those at some point. So clothes has not, I've taken that one pee out of clothes. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Um, and, and also, I don't know why it came from, but I don't know why I left it in there. Like, what's that What's that going to get me? Nothing at all. Um, so, clothes hasn't got anything in. Eating out there has got £10 in. Children's got the 20, 21, 20, 20 pound and 85p. That should be more than enough for them. I think miscellaneous is the one that I added more to than normal. Although, if you've watched my October budget video, you'll know that I've actually increased my miscellaneous budget. Um... Yeah, it's uh, it's more than normal. It's gone up to £150 rather than £100. And I think that's just because obviously it's getting towards Christmas and I need to start thinking about that. And this year, because I've not got any sinking funds envelopes, and that's another video I will do later, um, I've increased my miscellaneous budget to £150, uh, which I talked about in that video. So that's okay with that. Petrol, £40. To yeah, that's... Here's what it is. And then food is got... Has... Is... Uh, has got £80 in there um, and as for usual I hope not to hit that but we kind of need to pop back during the week for milk and fruit and stuff and I've not figured out a system and some really helpful people have left comments about that and I still haven't quite figured out how I want to I'm going to do that but there you go so they are my cash envelopes for this week um, all nice and sorted I'm loving this system by the way and these also I was I because I, I've got like printable cash envelopes on my site to download if you want to there's different designs um but i found because we're in the uk and we have a lot of coins as you can see we don't have like a one 
pound coin. Uh, we don't have a one pound note, for example, we have one pound coins. I was finding that I was getting a lot of coins and they wouldn't fit in. So I'm loving the thing that these, that have got like a little zip um, that they kind of fasten so that the coins can't escape. Anyway, that's my uh, cash envelope system for this week. Um, and yeah, I'll let you know how it goes next weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.